Saint Teresa of Avila Novena. Day 7. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please state your intentions for this Novena. O most loving Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the wonderful gift of the wound in the heart, which you granted to your beloved Teresa. We pray that, by your merits, and by those of your beautiful spouse Teresa, we will also receive a wound of love, so that henceforth, we may love you, and give our mind to the love of nothing but you. Saint Teresa, I pray for. Please state your intentions. But may the will of God, the Father Almighty be done. Amen. Prayers of Saint Teresa Lord, grant that I may always allow myself to be guided by you, always follow your plans, and perfectly accomplish your holy will. Grant that in all things, great and small, today and all the days of my life. I may do whatever you require of me, help me respond to the slightest prompting of your grace, so that I may be your trustworthy instrument, for your honor. May your will be done in time, and in eternity, by me, in me, and through me. Amen. Let nothing disturb you, let nothing frighten you, all things will pass away. God never changes, patience obtains all things, whoever has God lacks nothing, God alone suffices, Amen. Lord, you know better than I myself, that I am growing older and will someday be old, keep me from the fatal habit of thinking I must say something, on every subject and on every occasion. Release me from craving to straighten out everybody's affairs. Make me thoughtful but not moody, helpful but not bossy. With my vast store of wisdom, it seems a pity not to use it all. But you know, Lord, that I want a few friends at the end. Keep my mind free from the recital of endless details. Give me wings to get to the point. Seal my lips on my aches and pains. They're increasing, and love of rehearsing them is becoming sweeter as the years go by. I dare not ask for improved memory, but for a growing humility and a lessening cock sureness, when my memory seems to clash with the memories of others, teach me the glorious lesson that occasionally I may be mistaken. Keep me reasonably sweet, for a sour old person is one of the crowning works of the devil. Give me the ability to see good things in unexpected places, and talents in unexpected people, and give, O Lord, the grace to tell them so. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ has no body now but yours, no hands, no feet on earth but yours. Yours are the eyes, through which he looks compassion on this world. Yours are the feet, with which he walks to do good. Yours are the hands, through which he blesses all the world. Yours are the hands, yours are the feet, yours are the eyes, you are his body. Christ has no body now on earth, but yours. Please, let Christ use you to give limbs to amputees in Africa. You can make a donation using the link in the description. Subscribe and join our praying family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.